Alex has a tremendous reputation uh, as, a, as a leader in the clubhouse and uh, provides a nice balance from an offensive standpoint, given his left-handed bat and his ability to get on base and, and provide some power against right-handed pitching. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. On the day before Thanksgiving, the White Sox have made a move to put a little extra on their plate. Home plate, that is. The team has agreed to a one-year contract with veteran free agent catcher Alex Avila. The 28-year-old was limited to just 67 games this past season with the Tigers due to various injuries and batted only 191. But Avila was the starting catcher for the AL All-Star team as recently as 2011. And MLB.com columnist Phil Rogers believes he can be a viable threat to Tyler Flowers for the starting job behind the plate next season. Alex Avila, if, if he is healthy, can avoid the concussion issues that really so bedeviled him the last couple of years in Detroit, uh, could be good. It could be a great situation for both of them. Out west in Oakland, the A's have reacquired veteran infielder Jed Lowry via trade from the Astros. Just one season after Lowry signed a three-year free agent deal with Houston, which includes a club option for 2018. In exchange for Lowry, the A's parted ways with minor league pitcher Brendan McCurry. Lowry enjoyed his finest big league season with the A's back in 2013, batting 290 with 15 homers and 75 RBIs in a career-high 154 games. MLB.com A's reporter Jane Lee explains where the 31-year-old Lowry fits into a crowded Oakland infield. And this is a guy that they're very familiar with. Um, they do like what they have. They have a lot of young talent in the infield that saw an opportunity to bring in another versatile guy. The Atlanta Braves have made a move to bolster their pitching depth, coming to terms with free agent Bud Norris on a one-year deal. The seven-year veteran lost his spot in the Orioles' rotation this past season before being released and was then picked up by the Padres, where he made 20 appearances in relief, striking out 21 batters in just under 17 innings. MLB.com Braves reporter Mark Bowman explains how Norris is an ideal, low-risk, high-reward signing for the ball club. You know, if you go back to one year ago, uh, I don't think anyone would have said that Bud Norris would ever sign a one-year $2.5 million deal. But after he goes through the kind of year that he does, he's the guy that, that, that fits the Braves' mold. LJ Hose is returning to the O's. Baltimore acquired the outfielder from the Astros for cash considerations after Hose was designated for assignment by Houston last week. Hose debuted with the Orioles in 2012 and appeared in three games for Baltimore between 2012 and 2013 and was then traded to Houston in a deadline deal that sent the aforementioned Bud Norris to Baltimore. The Cubs have acquired left-handed reliever Rex Brothers from the Rockies on Wednesday in exchange for minor leaguer Wander Cabrera. The Pirates have acquired Alan Webster from the Diamondbacks in exchange for cash considerations. And finally, the Diamondbacks have named Dave Magadan as hitting coach. Magadan spent the previous three seasons as the Texas Rangers hitting coach and has also spent time with the San Diego Padres and Boston Red Sox in the same capacity. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.